It's 5 o'clock in the morning, and after 48 hours here in Paris, I'm going back to the Middle East. This time, Oman. It's my fifth time in Oman. It's a beautiful country. Today, I'm traveling to its capital city, Muscat. Oman is actually one of my favorite countries in the Middle East, and because it's on the southeast, because it's on the southeast coast of the Arabian Peninsula, the weather's always warm down there, and I'm looking forward to that. The beautiful beaches, the rugged landscape. Let's get going. Made it to the airport and see these guys, international photographers. Very interesting. Very interesting. Have, you had, have you had a coffee yet? Yeah, no, 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 no yet. No. We, we need coffee. Saw some of my colleagues there, made it to the airport. Everybody's looking around for coffee. I need some. This is my second flight. I just flew from Saudi Arabia here to Paris. Had a beautiful day in Paris yesterday. And we're off to Oman. It's a bicycle race, the Tour of Oman. And I'm gonna be there interviewing the cyclists over the next week. It's a lot to take in and I need a coffee. Uh. Uh, that's not very good. What is this? All right, no time for another coffee. Time to board the flight. We're off in the air. This is the first leg from Paris to Doha. Now let's get going. I think I'm one of the last people on the flight, but I guess not, no? Not the last one? Uh, still 20% missing. Friendly on Qatar Airlines, hey guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, it's just like business. All these seats are empty. Look at that, I got all this space to myself. And windows, so I can get all the good views on the way to Doha. Five hours of flying, five hours, 45 minutes, and we're on our way. I love Qatar Airways. One time I was flying with them from Doha to Beijing. They upgraded me to business. I never wanted to get off that flight. Oh, the service was great. And the seats are comfortable too, so if you get a chance, try flying Qatar Airways. Now, Doha is a really beautiful place. It's not my final destination. I've been there many times before with the tour of Qatar. It's got its court niche. It's got its landscape. It's mostly flat. It's rocky. It's hot. It's windy. And they're hosting the upcoming World Cup. It's the hub of Qatar Airways, and I definitely put it on your list if you've never been. Spend a couple days there if you can. If you got a layover, spend a couple days before you fly on to your next destination. Other neighboring Middle Eastern countries like Jordan have mountains or mountains and beaches and ocean like Oman, which is where I'm heading today. Look at this breakfast here. Scrambled eggs, spinach, mushrooms, yogurt, fresh fruit, and coffee. It's even better than it was in the airport. Thanks, Qatar Airways. I've been trying to do some work here, but I kept falling asleep, so those nice ladies back here with Qatar Airlines gave me a lot of pretzels. So I'm gonna dig into these. Hopefully it'll keep me awake as I work on the edits on my video. Mm. Such friendly people. This is Starbucks Reserve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this at Starbucks. These ladies are so friendly. Hi. Oh, subscribe. Look at that. I'm happy now. Starbucks Reserve here in the Doha airport. How cool is that? And for those of you who don't know, Doha, it's the capital city of Qatar. It's been growing and growing and growing. Its big thing is the Corniche right in the center of town. I remember about six, seven, eight years ago, they were starting to build already for the football soccer World Cup, which is this year, and they're ready. Already back then, they were building stadiums out in the desert, and now they're ready. So it's the big thing for this country with the ultimate bid to host the Olympics one day. They've already hosted the Cycling World Championships, so they're hosting all these different events as they build up towards the big sporting event. But right now, all I can think about is this coffee. The thing is, at a coffee shop, when you're waiting for your flight, you have a tendency just to get too comfortable concentrated on your work and forget that your flight's even boarding. And that's the case for me. I gotta run to my flight now. They're gonna be boarding that flight to Muscat. It's that last final leg from Doha to Muscat. Computer pack. Now we gotta get to the gate. Haha, <laughs> we made it and they're boarding. Hello sir, good evening. This is Muscat in Oman and yeah, I've made it third country in 48 hours or something. A little bit tired, but ah, safe travels. It was fun. Hey right, guys, and hey, welcome to Oman. It's my little suggestion, any country, new country you visit, learn just a few words in their local language. Here it's Arabic, shakran. 
Shokran. Yeah, it means yes. thank you, and then it goes a long way. Now let's get these bags in and get to the hotel. And we're here at the hotel. <laughs> this is gonna be my home for the next week. And made it. Got the door figured out after so many hours of traveling. I'm here in Oman. And what does that mean? It's a new country, it's a new place. I've been to Oman I think four or five times before, but this time it's cool. I'm super excited to travel these days. Maybe it's all the coronavirus stuff that's been going on. Everybody's cooped up, everybody wants to get out of the house. And I feel the same way, and plus, I just like getting out, seeing the new places, seeing new people. When I walked out of that Oman airport, I was like, yeah, I arrived, this is Oman. So over the next days, this bike race, I think it's about seven days long, it travels all around the capital city of Muscat. We're gonna be going north and south and inlands and to the Sultanate as well. There are some beautiful mountains back this way. There are some beautiful beaches to the south and to the north. But I'm also gonna get out there and make some YouTube videos too to show you a little bit of why why I love Oman, why I said at the beginning of this video that this is one of my favorite countries in the Middle East, because this country is a cool place, and I'm gonna show you why over the next few days, why you need to visit Oman. Now I'm really tired and I need to go to bed. 